class. Welcome back to Advantage. In today's lecture, we're going to finish up the inventory costing discussion. We've gone over FIFO, LIFO, the average method, and specific identification. And in each of those videos, we mentioned what the gross profit was under the different methods that we were looking at. In this video, we're going to look at all four of them together. Okay, you may need to go back to the previous videos just to see how we calculated them. But here are the numbers from the previous video. Here on the screen, you can see that under the FIFO method, we calculated the highest gross profit. Whereas under the LIFO method, we calculated the lowest gross profit. In our example, prices were increasing on the inventory items. What I mean is, as we were purchasing these inventory items over time to sell, the prices were increasing in amount. You can see under the average method and specific identification, uh, their gross profit amounts were in between the FIFO and LIFO. All right, so inventory costs, when they're increasing, FIFO will always calculate the highest gross profit. Now you really need to think about this. It's because we're selling the lowest inventory item, the lowest cost inventory items first, first in, first out. If prices are increasing, then that means we're selling the lowest priced ones, so that cost of goods sold will be the lowest amount. So then gross profit obviously will be the highest under FIFO. And then the opposite is true with LIFO. Under LIFO, last in, first out, if the, if the prices are increasing, then we're selling those more expensive items and our cost of goods sold will be higher. Hence, our gross profit will be lower. And the average method and specific identification will be in between, okay? If prices are decreasing, then the opposite will be true. FIFO will calculate a lower gross profit and LIFO will calculate the higher gross profit. I realize that this is a little bit confusing. If you get this right off the bat, then you're doing really well in accounting. If you're still struggling a little bit with these concepts, that's okay, they're not easy. You need to go back through these lectures and look at this, these, these concepts over and over again. And in this case, you really need to sit down and think about it, maybe get your pencil and paper out and, and just experiment with, with prices going up and prices going down. All right, class, I hope this video's helped you and we'll see you in the next video.